Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you're watching from. This is Anoto in China. It's a beautiful day. The sky is skying. Good weather. Empty road. Some trees around here. Perfect for going inside this place. I am in Kitale. For those who don't know Kitale, Kitale is in Tanzania County. Kitale, the home of or the basket of the country here in Transoya National Park, the home of Mount Elgon National Park, the home of Saiwaswaf National Park, the home of Kitale Museum, the home of have I said Kitale Nature Conservancy? Kitale Nature Conservancy. So I've been on the move. My camera is a bit dirty. The lenses. I've been on the move for a long time and right now I'm in this amazing destination here at home we used to come here so many times during the year or during the december holiday but now i'm able to come alone i used to organize trips to this place but ladies and gentlemen without further ado i want to introduce to you two the smallest national parks no the smallest national park in kenya if you know your the name Comment below. What is the smallest national park in Kenya? So keep guessing, keep guessing, keep guessing in 10 seconds and I'll be able to tell you where I am. So for those who have been here, what is this place? All right, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is Saiwa Swamp National Park. Kenya Wildlife Services and here at the gate there are some instruction no entry after six dogs are not allowed do not discard litter do not light fire do not ride bicycles maintain silence so without further ado let's go to the home of the Sita Tunga these ones the aqua antelopes used to wet environments so this is us I've already signed in, so let me go in and show you what's happened. So, what's your name? Keep giving out a story. I have a reason. Kopo. So here we are inside the park. It's quite a small park. Offices here, education center, information center, in-house programs, conference, films. Uh, and maybe let me show you the map of the park so that next time you want to come here you are able to access this park here are offices and uh, let's see what's unique or what piece of information that comes with Saiwa Swamp National Park so this is the map of the park as you can see, well documented. So, I'm interested to see these Tatungas. So, I think I need to take a picture of this map so that when I'm in the woods, I'm able to trace these animals on my own. All right. So, maybe those who are wondering, they have never come to this place and they want to know some piece of information about Saiwa Swamp National Park. Let me give you some synopsis. So they say, Saiwa Swamp National Park is situated in Transoya district, but now Transoya County. Uh, it is the smallest in the country with an area of about 15.5 kilometers square. The swamp area is three square kilometers. It was gazetted in 1974, mainly to protect the Sitatunga, or the scientific name is Tragelafalus, not Tragelafala, Spikei, Spikei, Tragelafala, Spikei. The Sitatunga here, they have tried to draw it. So, what's more about this Saiwa Swamp National Park? So, a swamp is a bottomland valley crossed by 
the permanent Saiwa River, a tributary of River Nzoia. So, in Kitale, we have a river called River Nzoia, and uh, the piece of information says this Saiwa swamp is a tributary of River Nzoia. So, Saiwa swamp is a tributary of River Nzoia vegetation. So, it's good to know the vegetation type here before we kick in. Its vegetation consists of grasses in the swamp and of tropical riverine forest on its sides. Main grasses in the Saiwa swamp are bulb brushes, typha, tomingensis, reeds, which are very common, which are also called echinochloa, pyramidalis, and sage or pycras lancias. The tree stands are dominated by croton, macro, staphylas, blah blah blah. I don't want to bore you with this. So, what animals are there here in Saiwa Swamp National Park in Kitale, the smallest national park? So, animals, apart from the Sitatunga, other antelopes in the parks are bushbuck, bush duika, boa, and reedback. And primates, we also have primates here in Saiwa Swamp National Park, so which primates are here? The primates that are here are black and white, colobus monkey, velvet monkey, blue monkey, and the rare, the brother monkey, and also ant bear. Occupants. Tree squirrel will be able to see this genet cat and mongoose. So, for those who are lovers of birds or lovers of bird watching, how many animals or how many birds species are there in Saiwa Swamp National Park? So, the bird species are grey crown crane, yellow bill stalk, sacred ibis, harada ibis, black creek, woodland kingfisher and hammock and forest birds are also here because it's a forest okay a forest so rose turaco black and white cascade hornbill eastern gray plantain eater namas dragon yellow rumped ticker bird and francolins and also we have birds of prey so what birds of prey are here long crested eagle wild bird eagles of ample species, Arohawk, Auger Bazaar, and also Barracks, Eagle Owl. And more information Grassland and Saiwa Swamp, Yellow Bishop, Chubs, Cisticola, Thick Build, Fan Tailed, Widow Bird. So that's the piece of information that I wanted you guys to know that is here in Saiwa Swamp National Park. So without further ado, we want to start the tour. This will be our end. We enter by this. So, community exit, Acacia Train, platform number two, number four, number five. All right. Staff quarter and campsite that way. So, let's kick in. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Saiwa Swamp National Park. And let's have a good time to see what's in the forest. I'm all alone, solo adventures. But years ago, I used to organize trips and we used to come, several of us, here in Saiwa Swamp National Park. So come, come, come. We are going inside the forest. Oh my goodness, it's beginning to get lonely. I wish I had some company. I wish I called a friend. But now, for the sake of this content creation, I need more time to illustrate to you what's happening. So, this is an auto in China, and we are in Saiwa Swamp National Park. So, let's see what's unique about this place. Um, just beginning nice and easy I am in love with the trees and this beautiful beautiful bridge you can see the water the water is already uh, 
here or oh, it's already evident because this is Saiwa Swamp National Park so I'm crossing this bridge nice and easy and then I'm following this rail alone alone Habari yeah. Habari means how are you and then you respond mzuri mzuri so we are inside here and I want to be done with this place within the shortest time possible because the rains might be here in the next few hours look at that very beautiful I want to see a squirrel and this tree looks so old Kitale is blessed Kitale is truly blessed so here we are in the forest or in the woods some prefer to say in the woods some prefer saying in the forest but let's do this anyway so here we are taking it one step at a time nice and easy we are beating we are beating around the bush so follow me So, it's also a good time since the year started. It's a good time for me to unwind. Uh, I've been traveling all the way from Kunming City in China to Guangzhou City in China to Changsha City in China to Nairobi City in Kenya to West Pokot, Nakuru, Eldoret, Kitale, Naivasha. I went to Migori, Nyabuhanze, Tirare, Kisi. I went even to Tanzania. So I've been moving countries. And uh, this is a good therapeutic, therapeutic moment for me to unwind and relax. And I also wanted to take this, this walk all alone there's a beautiful bridge over there that side and uh, you can see some people there but first I want us to go this way so that we can be able to see what's happening on the other end and I hope the rain does not find me all alone inside this because I never wore any sweater, no umbrella, no nothing. But if the rain comes, it will be an amazing, amazing experience for me because I'll be able to show you the struggle behind the camera and my camera is waterproof, so no fear. I just want to walk fast because then I'm here to also exercise. I was to go for a hike in Mount Elgo National Park, but uh, I had to cancel it. So at the same time, I had to compensate with this this uh, beautiful tour all alone. Nobody, nobody, nobody here. So I hope you are enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it. We can. There's some music playing on the background. That's not good for copyright. The neighborhood. All right. So, taking it nice and easy. This is me just kicking it already. And we're heading that way here in. I was swamp national park. You can see some hills, ant hills, and the dense thick forest around this place. The time right now is about 1:20 African time, 1:20 Nairobi time, African time, Kenyan time. So, I'm 
all alone in the forest. I remember we used to write compositions of adventures in the forest or some monsters in the forest. It's an amazing place. I want to take you guys over there. I hope you love it. It's a watchtower. It's a watchtower. So, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just walk in the park to show you what's happening here at Taiwan Swamp National Park. In Italy. Normally, when you go to a park, people prefer the, what do you say? People normally prefer game drives. But this one you have to drive yourself in your shoe baru. My shoe baru. This is me. I'm driving myself on this beautiful, beautiful trails. And also, it's good for exercise because I've in China I do exercise. I play football, I ride the bike, uh, and I run a lot. But now I've been idle. Okay, not idle. I've been busy, so I've not been exercising. So this is coming in handy here in Italy. So. Right ahead there, we have platform number two. So, I want to show you what's happening there. And then, some people... Wait, I think I need to start with this. Because some of you can be worried. You are saying you want to show us Saiwa Swamp National Park. But where is it? Can you show us? But then, let me give you a synopsis so that you understand why this place is called Saiwa Swamp. We are going to climb up this ladder. We're going to climb up. It's very silent. So you want to climb up. So there we go. I want to show you. Here we are. the ladder. Why say was swamp? Why say was swamp? So I want you guys to relate with why this place is called Saiwa Swamp. But here they say it's a viewing tower number two. Oh my goodness. I remember when we came with a team here back in 2017. 2017 and we had uh, some good uh, photography moments around this place. I remember doing some comedy skits over there of Professor Guy. Ooh. The exercise is very effective on me already, so I'm loving it. So, guys, why is this place called Saiwa Swamp National Park? So, Saiwa Swamp National Park. Gazetted in 1974. I see these trees growing on top of this thatched uh, roof. Thatched roof. There are some trees growing here. So, Saiwa Swamp National Park is known as Saiwa Swamp because River Saiwa, which is a tributary from uh, river Nzoia comes all the way up to this end and here we have some uh, thickets and it's a swampy area basically as you can see this is all these are swamps swamp 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 all these are swamp and uh, these are the reeds or the th grass thickets growing on this swamp so just simple as that Saiwa Swamp. The swamp and uh, this place is called Saiwa. So, and the river passes here. So, 
the name Saiwa Swamp. Over there, you can see some water already. And uh, actually, if you are very keen at this observation tower, you could be able to see, maybe in the morning or late in the night, the Statunga, the Duikas, Boa, and other types of mammals. And also, you can come here for bird watching and what have you. So, this is Saiwa Swamp National Park here in Kitale. You can hear the beautiful sound of the birds. So that's my first stop. I'm competing with the rain. It's gonna rain very soon. So I don't know. I didn't check the weather. Next time I go elsewhere, I'll be checking the weather. So I'm going down. Going down. I want to give you better angles. So myself. Those who, how was the meme saying? For those who want to follow me, this is how I look from behind. This is how I look from behind. At the same time, I want us to, or I want to take this camera on a challenge because they say it can perform better on low light. And actually, this place is very dark, very, very dark. It's deep in the forest, but I can see I have a good, good uh, observation. Yeah, it is capturing my image very well. And it's very dark here in the woods. And let's see, what, what do you call this? Lichens? It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly here. It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. A butterfly. Anyway. So I'm going to do some analysis of this DJI Action 4. Uh, I've been using it for several months and now let me give you some analysis first and uh, you'll help me judge or oh, maybe you guys can be able to appreciate my judgment and you can tell me what do you think about the camera I'm using so I'm using the DJI Action 4 and with the DJI Action 4 the action never stops so I want to give you a brief analysis of DJI Action 4. All right, so let's do this. Fickers, this is a Fickers tree. Fickers tree, all right. So the DJI Action 4 is actually manufactured in Shenzhen, in China. Shenzhen is like the technological city of China and it is the main competitor of the GoPros so these cameras most people say it which GoPro do you use then I tell them I use a DJI Action 4 and actually before buying this camera in China I decided that I'm going to do a research about all the action cameras and I did a research about this camera for the last uh, I did it for three months researching on this camera. Look at that. Look at that natural tree. And you can hear the noise behind. Oh my goodness. This is like the D, the, the Nat Geo. 
Welcome to Africa. This is home. Some call it the origin of humanity. We travel miles and miles away from the city in Nairobi, Kenya, and we go to the lost village of Transoia County. And in Transoia County, we have a hidden treasure. It is the least explored national park in Kenya. Now, there was some national park was gazetted in 1974. And now, so many visitors come to appreciate the beauty of this hidden gem. We are crossing the beautiful bridge of Saiwa Swamp. Looks like an old bridge, but some water is pumping from the source of all the river. Journey with me as we walk through Saiwa Swamp National Park, the smallest national park in Kenya. And this is the home of the rare the brother monkey, the Sitatunga, the Dwickers, lots of species of birds, and this is the home of the people of Transoya country county it's the least the least explored national park in Kenya and actually the president did his PhD research here in Saiwa Swamp National Park I studied zoology but the president studies botany and zoology so I relate with whatever he studied so welcome on board my name is Anoto in China subscribe share and follow for more amazing encounters through my youtube channel and I will take you to a journey across the world from Africa to Asia to America, to Canada, Australia, to Europe, Antarctica. I will take you places and we'll be able to tell our stories. And you know, with Anoto in China, what I like about him is the value you get because he entertains, he educates, he explores, he discovers, and most importantly, we inspire humanity to be better versions of ourselves. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Anoto in China. So I was actually doing that for you to be able to appreciate the audio capture of this DJI Action 4. Now, you tell me how you hear my voice. I was trying to give it some oomph for the ladies, some bass, so that you guys can be able to appreciate the audio capture. Tell me, those who are using the earphones, tell me, does the DJI Action 4 have a better audio capture? So, I want you to tell me that, and we see how it does, or how it performs. My camera, does not use a microphone and I have not mounted a microphone it's just the camera by itself but tell me do you like the audio quality of the DJI Action 4 and tell me can you buy it or can you prefer it as your main action camera and normally normally say this with the DJI Action 4 the action never stops and that's my tagline for my vlog also and not in china 
the action never stops. I think I need to say it even more with an oomph. This is an auto in China. The action never stops. So, having said that, let the action continue. And, you know, I'm in nature and I actually received a missed call from Mother Nature. I have a nature call. So, should I respond to the nature call? Oh, man. I'm pressed. I need to relieve myself because this is nature. And are there snakes here? I think there are snakes. There should be snakes around this place. Let's see if we'll encounter that. The snakes. Look at this log. It fell here a long time ago. When we first came, it fell here. So, so far I've told you why I like the DJI Action 4 camera. And actually, I'm just putting it to a test. So, what I love about it most is the audio capture. The audio capture is very amazing. The audio capture of the DJI is very amazing. So, you, you don't need an extra mic to mount on it although a disclaimer if you want more better studio like sound quality you can mount a dji mic on it the best mic you can never receive so audio capture so good because it comes with one two three three microphones or three audio captures where it captures the audio and uh, nice moving on to the second feature i love i love about the dji action 4 but first ladies and gentlemen for those who are joining now i'm in saiwasamp national park in kitale the smallest national park here in kenya and i'm having an amazing amazing time here in Saiwa Swamp so at the same time we are doing a brief brief uh, analysis of the DJI Action 4 at the same time I'm so pressed I drank some water but I'm getting nature call guys allow me to Allow me to relieve myself. Ooh, now this sounds. Oh, there's a, a monkey over there. What? There's a monkey over there. Is it trying to warn me or something? Is there a predator around? Okay. Let me relieve myself because I'm in nature and have to respond to nature's call. So this is me receiving a call from Mother Nature, better known as Nature Call. Oh, look at that. The monkey is overhead there. There, 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 there. Whew! Haha! <laughs> feels good! I'm now relieved of my duties. So let's proceed now. Let's proceed. So here we can see some water. Some water here. So I was swamp. You can see how the water is. It's a bit rusty. It's a bit rusty. So say was swamp. The swamp is here. The swamp, the swamp. I want to take a selfie here so that a selfie. A selfie. Look at that. I 
right. So uh, this bridge is broken. We are able to climb it. Yeah, we are able to climb it. And here there is a warning, caution, slippery walkboard. So these are the walkboards. Are they really slippery? For me, I can say no, they are not slippery. So we are inside. Oh, this feels very, very amazing. Very, very amazing. Oh my goodness. Saiwa so Swamp National Park. First nature trail. One kilometer. So look at that. Very, very beautiful. Magnificent. Oh my goodness. Saiwa so Swamp National Park. It's amazing. And we are walking, or I am walking on this lovely trail going in. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are loving the views here in Saiwa Swamp National Park. This is a notch in China, but I'm here in Saiwa Swamp in Africa. It's a peaceful, peaceful swamp and I'm in the forest all alone. But let's do this. Let's the, let the adventures begin. And Happy New Year, guys. I hope you are kicking the New Year in style, all right? So, Taiwa Swamp National Park. Here we can now relate with why this place is called Taiwa Swamp National Park. And at the same time, we are doing a brief analysis of the DJI action for the best action camera. So, this is it, the swamp. And see, that's the swamp. The swamp. The swamp. The swamp. And some beautiful, beautiful trees. And a beautiful, beautiful trail here in Taiwa Swamp. I wish I could see a snake, man. I want to see a snake here in nature. At this very very beautiful in China we say Piaoliang Piaoliang very beautiful or oh, Fei Changhao very good look at this and see I'm walking on this amazing nature tree all alone in the woods i'm not if i've only met one person since i started this adventure and i'm going down towards this way so follow me follow me follow me follow me follow me follow me yeah, it's a bit wet it's a bit wet we are cruising or i am cruising nicely why am I using weed? Because I want you guys to feel like you are here. Mind your head. You can see better, better angles from the DJI Action 4. Very impressive angles. Look at this. For those who are watching at the comfort of your home, how do you feel in watching this amazing uh, video of this beautiful, beautiful woods here in Africa, in Kitale, my hometown. And this is the least unexplored uh, national park in Kenya. So, back to my story. The DJI Action 4. What do I love about the DJI Action 4? And why did I choose the DJI? Action 4. Actually, you can appreciate the better angles I'm taking. I'm taking you on a journey with my Action 4. And I hope you're loving it. So, the other thing I love about the DJI Action 4. Look at this. So beautiful. 
what do we call this? Scientists. I'm not so much into plants. What do we call this? What do we call this? I only know the type of relationship. Did you know that plants have relationships? So that is a kind of mutualism. Is it mutualism? Where one benefits from the other, or they benefit from each other. Maybe the scientists could tell us. And there are also more of this here. Yeah. So, why DJI Action 4? Why did I choose this camera for my adventures? This also very pristine. I used to work in a snake park and we used to remove this and go put it in the cages of the snake so that they can feel they are in their natural natural environments. So snakes also love this. Uh, they are called lichens. This ones. This ones. Lichens. So here I have to mind my head because I can easily oh some roots also and more of that. So for those who have been using the GoPro, actually yesterday In Nyabohanse, I was in Nyabohanse yesterday. I was trying to use the GoPro, but uh, I didn't like the GoPro because with the GoPro, your face is all over the screen that way. When you are using the GoPro, your face is magnified that way. But with the DJI, you can see I have my natural uh, appearance and also my natural colors so with the gopro i don't love gopro because it somehow has an enhanced color but for me using the dji it brings out the natural colors and because you are inside the forest whatever you are seeing will not be edited they just be natural natural colors and that's also one thing i love about the natural colors there's some poop here this is poop this looks like a goat or an antelope species so most definitely the statunga is around this place so you can see the natural colors of the dgi those people who have used GoPro, you can give also your comments. What do you think about the natural colors of DJI? Or how do you compare the color, how do I say, the color grading system on the DJI and on the GoPro? Which one is better? For me, the DJI Action 4 gives you a better or more natural colors. And you know, with this content creation, digital content creation, a more what could that be? With this digital content creation thing, I'm more interested with the natural colors because I just want to be as natural as possible. I don't want to what? Sorry, sorry. I don't want to enhance my colors because I'm not doing a movie. I'm shooting my day-to-day -day life experiences as I travel. So I love the natural, natural colors of the DJI Action 4. Natural colors. What you see is me. Natural colors of the DJI Action 4. And you can see you might think I'm using a drone, but I'm not using a drone. So I'll tell you what I'm using in a bit. All right. So 
So far I've told you about the nice audio capture of the DJI Action 4 and also the natural lights. So as you can see, I remember watching the Tarzan movies. This place could be used for the Tarzan movies. Or in Nigeria, such forests in the movies are used for witches and witchcrafts. And uh, here in, uh, in Kenya, it's a national park. If you watch the Nigerian movies, such space, they use it as a bad space. Or if you have watched the movie, what movie? Suggest movies that have been shot in the forest. Wrong turn for vampires, some vampire diaries, whereby some people go in the woods to camp, and then later, that woods, the woods have some vampires. So in the night, the vampires come and <gasps> attack them and kill them. And also, some evil spirits are thought to be in some forests, especially if you watch American movies or movies from the West, you could be walking inside such a beautiful forest all alone like me and then I get to find a house in the forest and I decide to enter this isolated forest and nobody is inside there and as I enter the forest there's some bells on the door so once I open the door the bells start ringing ding 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 and now I start hearing very weird voices <sighs> So I ignore them, but I decide to do an adventure on this house. Now when I enter, the door suddenly shuts up, doom, and then I start finding my way out. And then I meet so many evil spirits in the house. It's a possessive. And then they torture me, they harass me. And in the movie, the people die, but this is my movie, it can't die. So I give you the same, same, same scenario. Look at this. I have to balance myself walking on this trail. adventure in the forest so here we have a very old bridge very old and you can see the lichens are growing on it lichens are growing on it anyway let's continue it's a bit wet a bit hot so DJI Action 4, better audio capture, good quality audio. And what did I say? Natural colors. And as if you watch my videos, I normally just post them raw and edited just like that. Because I guess to know or to explore with the, the natural lights look at that we're going all the way all the way up to that place better audio capture and natural lights the gi action 4 the best action camera in the market right about now and with dji the action never stops so guys i said this when i was starting this video the natural light here it's somehow dark because it's a forest maybe you guys can't relate because this camera 
and this is another feature I love about it. This camera has been uh, suited with a light sensor. The insect beat me and I'm swelling. The DJI Action 4 has been suited with a light sensor and somebody can be asking or thinking what is the purpose of the light sensor so the light sensor one of the main thing that it does is to perform better on low light the light sensor ensures that the camera can perform better on low light like this is a deep forest it's a bit dark but you guys can be able to see me natural so it enhances the light so it performs better on the natural light the road here is going this way okay it's a one one with that one with this so let me go this way actually right here it's a bit dark here it's a bit dark but actually you can be able to see it clearly because the DJI Action 4 has a very good uh, it performs better on low light so let me take you in there it's very dark actually very very dark but you can be able to see like it's daytime because the DJI Action 4 performs better on low light so from around 6 in the night to around 7 30 you can keep on shooting and shooting and shooting and it will capture your image very well and it will enhance the natural light so somebody might think you recorded during the day but you recorded in the evening hours so that's also one of the plus for the DJI action camera and now having said that you can give your comments of what you think so far of my analysis of the DJI action 4 camera and as I'm cruising to this other end, I'll be able to tell you more about the DJI action camera. For those who are joining now, this is an auto in China. I normally say it with a punch. I did a challenge here during the 2017 elections with my friends. As I told you, I used to organize trips. We come to such amazing spaces for people to network, bond, team build and also to have fun here in nature so because I could not be able to mobilize people and uh, nowadays I normally love to do them solo I decided that I will just bring myself here and remind myself of the beautiful beautiful moments that I was able to create a few years ago you know sometimes you plan a trip as a group and on the last day you are the only person who is going and sometimes because you planned you have to do it alone so that's also where I get most of my inspirations from because for those who have ever planned a trip or something going somewhere for an expedition 
you take four months to think through, to plan, to organize the trip, but people fail to turn up eventually. And then because you are the team leader, you just have to do it alone. I love that. Look at the roots. Looks like a mangrove. So when I was organizing trips and people failed to come, I used to go by myself. Or maybe the people who have come will just go, even if you have few in number. Look at this bridge. Another beautiful, beautiful bridge. And there's some water here. Come in. Gives me some peace of mind watching. Let's cross this bridge. It's a bit old. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful view. I'm loving it. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful and magnificent views, I tell you. Swamp National Park in Italy. So I'm doing some brief uh, synopsis of or analysis of the DJI Action 4, the best action camera. And so far, I chose this place to do the analysis because this place is a natural, natural environment and. You can see from my video how uh, the natural lights come, how the audio capture is, and how it performs better on low light. Although here it's an open, open sky. It's almost raining. The sun is trying to disappear. So in the next one hour, I need to be done with this place so that I give you better, better stories and more better analysis of the DJI action four the action never stops the light sensor is on the action the o is the light center action for those who uh, i don't know if you can see it the o the o on the the o is the light sensor so Join my next episode as we do further analysis of the DJI and as I wind up my trip here in uh, Saiwa Swamp National Park. For those who are new here, this is Anoto in China. Jagashi Anoto Zai Jongwo. This is Anoto in China. But right about now, I'm in the smallest national park in Kenya, Saiwa Swamp National Park. Don't leave. Let's meet in the next episode as we wind up our stories. See you in the next episode.